Hey, this is Lisa from CoochieCoochieCoo.com. Today I'm going to show you how to sew something that every girl loves, scrunchies. Now you don't need to be an expert to sew these. Actually, I'm going to show you how to sew them by hand. It's actually really easy. Let me show you how. Okay, to make your scrunch, you need a long strip of fabric, which is 45 centimeters long and eight centimeters wide in inches. That would be 18 by about three. You also need elastic, 25 centimeters long or 10 inches. Your thread, um, polyester, Gutenberg thread is my favorite, strong. A hand needle and a safety pin. Your pins. These materials will let you get a scrunchie similar to this one. You can go around twice like this. Okay, let's get going. To begin with, put your fabric um, wrong side down and then fold it up in half, right sides facing, and pin. You will have to go this way all the way down the strip of fabric. When you are finished, make sure that it's more or less lined up. This fabric kind of curves, so it's not always easy to fix it up perfectly. Let's adjust it a little bit. Okay. Now that you've got your piece of fabric all pinned together, let's start sewing. I'm, I've already threaded my needle. I've used my blue thread, and I'm using a double strand just to make it a little bit stronger. Put the two ends together like this, match them up. Make sure, oops, <laughs> make sure that they are at the same point and make a knot. This way it'll be nice and thick. Okay, with the double thread, it'll be stronger. The stitches will be stronger. Start at one end, just pop in the thread from one side stick in the needle. You can do a back stitch or a whip stitch. This would be a back stitch going back and forth and back and forth. Or you can do a whip stitch which goes around the edge um, which I'm not going to do because I prefer doing a back stitch really. Um, well let me just show you a second the whip stitch. Um, it can get a little bit complicated. I prefer the back stitch it goes around um, okay this is the witch stitch but I don't actually want to do it that way I don't really love the whip stitch for this sort of thing so I'm going to do the back stitch so from where your um, thread comes out you go first to the right of the thread and out on the left to the right in take the pin out and out to the left make sure the thread doesn't get caught. Let's look at that a little bit closer up. Okay, see where the thread comes out? Okay, you're gonna put the needle in a little bit to the right and take it out a little bit to the left. Okay, pull it out, pull. Okay, that's our stitch again. There's a thread, put the needle in to the right, take it out a little bit to the left, the smaller your stitches are, the stronger they'll be. Okay, pull. There we are. This is how the back stitch looks from the front. And here it is from the back. Okay. All right, go all the way down your um, strip of fabric like that. Let's finish our last few back stitches here. Take out the last pen. Oops. Okay. We're at the very end here. One last back stitch. Okay. We're all done. No. So now let's make a little knot. We'll grab a teeny bit of fabric with our needle. Go like that, 
pull it through but leave a little loop like this. It's got the double strand. Stick the needle in it and pull it through. This will make your knot. If you want, you can do it again and make it extra strong. I like to do this. It doesn't take any extra effort and it makes it stronger. Okay. Put it through the loop once or twice. Okay, when you're done, just snip off the thread, trim it off. And there is our tube of fabric. Perfect. Now we need to turn it right side out. To be able to do that, we're going to use a safety pin. Use a medium sized safety pin. Um, poke it into um, poke it into the seam allowance because here it's a little bit more sturdy. That way you don't risk ripping by accident the fabric. So stick the um, safety pin right inside the tube like that. Push it through with your finger and you can feel it from the inside. There it is, it's poking out. Okay, so with one hand, you're going to hold on to the pin while you pull out the fabric with the other hand. Okay, push it through, you're scrunching up the fabric, you can still feel it in there. Hold on to it and with your other hand, just slip the fabric and pull it out like that. This particular fabric is a um, velour. It's very slippery, so it's actually perfect for this type of thing. It turns right side out really easily. There it is. Okay, so the end has come out, the other end. Um, let's just pull it the rest of the way out. Here it just slips right out. There we go. Take off the safety pin. There's our tube. Okay, this is going to be our scrunchy fabric. Now, we need to do the elastic. Get your piece of elastic. Um, remember, 25 centimeters or 10 inches. Again, take the safety pin, stick it into the end. I usually do in and out like this just to keep it on better. You don't have to. All right, now we're gonna have to slip this right through the tube of fabric here. So. Stick it into one end, and similar to what we did to before, just um, scrunch up the fabric, hold on to it with one hand, and pull the fabric with the other hand so it unscrunches. Okay, make sure you're holding on to the end of the elastic right here with your other hand, otherwise it'll slip inwards and you won't be able to do anything. Hold the elastic like this. I used to, I like to hold it in those two fingers there. Continue scrunching, there it is. It's coming through, keep holding on from with the first hand. There we've got the two ends. Okay, there we go. So, take out the safety pin. Let's kinda scrunch up that fabric so it's out of our way. We wanna have a lot of space where the elastic is. Okay. Line up the ends of the elastic like this. Um, this elastic curves, so I make it so that it curves together, the two pieces curve together. We want about five centimeters on each side of the knot. Five centimeters would be about two inches. So put them together, make a knot like that. Knot it kind of loosely so you can check how much there is. Is that about five centimeters? More or less, it's a little bit more maybe, but whatever. Let's tighten it once we're happy with how much it is. All right, let's test to see if that's the right amount we want. Just pull the fabric back around more or less. Um, test it out, let's see, is that how we want it? One time around. Um, here we go, looping it around twice. It's tight, but I mean, that's how it should be. Okay, it works. So now we need to close up the ends of this um, this tube of fabric. So first let's trim off the edge of, or the ends of the um, elastic. Okay, let's get our needle and thread ready again. Okay, so now I've got my needle and thread ready. All right, let's get the openings all set up. The easiest way to do it is to first get that knot of elastic out of the way. 
um, you want as little bulk as possible. So just kind of scrunch it around until the knot is no longer there. So there, it's not there. Where is it? Um, there it is. I can feel it right there. Okay, so it's out of the way. Excellent. Okay. We want to make sure it's not twisted around. See here, it's kind of twisted around. So look at the look at the seam here. You see, there's our seam. Follow it around all the way around. There we go. And untwist the fabric as you go like that. Okay, there we go. And you can uh, arrange it there so that the two seams are matching up like this. Perfect. Okay, one side of this um, tube is going to go inside the other. So whichever one is going to be on the outside just folds the edges a little bit inwards like this. This way the raw edges are inside and they're not going to be ugly or fraying or anything else like that. Then stick the other part right inside. Oh, okay, here we go. It may or may not fit perfectly, but it's not really a problem. It's scrunchy. Okay, see the seams match up there? Let's adjust it. Make sure that everything is actually folded closed. Adjust it, make sure, adjust it. There we go, it looks pretty good. So get your needle, needle and thread. Um, again, I'm using double strand just to make it stronger, but you can use a single strand. Okay, pull in from the inside of that folded fabric along the seam allowance. This is where there's the most amount of fabric and it'll stay put better. Okay, hide that knot of thread inside. All right, and we're just going to stitch around. It's sort of, I mean, you could do a ladder stitch. I'm not even going to bother. I'm just doing a sort of whip stitch, I guess. Um, so I go inside the bottom end of the fabric. <clears throat> um, remember, you're not going through the entire thing, just through one layer of each fabric at a time. You're not going over to the other edge, the other side of the scrunchie. So go from the bottom layer of fabric into that top layer of fabric and go that way all the way around that um, folded edge. See how I go through? You can't really see it because the thread matches the fabric perfectly. Okay, continue and we're gonna go all the way around. Okay, now we've ended. We're back up to that seam. We're, I'm just going to overlap it just to make sure that it stays closed perfectly. Let's get another um, one more here. Okay. Now we need to tie a knot. So like I did before, I grab a little bit of fabric. Um, hold on. Okay. Um, there we go, a little bit of fabric with the needle. Pull, I'm going to leave a little loop here. You can see there, pull the needle and the thread through. All right, it's knotted. Now to hide the edge of the <coughs> thread, poke it through, pull it out somewhere else like that. Doesn't really matter where. Kind of pull it a little bit to pull out the end of the thread. Snip it. Then just kind of arrange your fabric. The end of the thread will go in and you're all done. There's your cool new scrunchie. There we go. You can wrap it around twice, or if you have less hair, thinner hair, or little girls, you can do it three times, it protects the hair. There you go. All right, so now that you have your brand new scrunchies, try them out, have a load of fun. <laughs> Head on over to poochiecoochiecoo.com for all sorts of great sewing tutorials and lessons. And hey, make sure you click subscribe in my YouTube channel to get all sorts of other fantastic videos. See you soon!